Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a child who presented with abdominal pain. There was clinical concern for intersusception. We started with ultrasound examination first. On the static images, you can see there is a round soft tissue mass in the right lower quadrant, almost giving the appearance of a target or a donut. The lesion measured greater than two centimeter in diameter. Within the lesion, there was two round foci and on dynamic images, which I'm going to show subsequently, the lesions corresponded to the terminal ileum and the appendix. On the color Doppler images, the vascularity was preserved within the soft tissue density lesion. Also notice the internal echogenic fat. So this outer soft tissue density corresponds to the colon. And as we saw in the previous images, these two foci corresponded to the terminal ileum and the appendix. So on this image, it looks almost like a pseudo kidney. The outer cortex appearance is due to the thickened colonic wall and the appearance of medulla is created by the mesenteric fat. The appendix within the intersusception was slightly dilated, probably reactive to the uh, inflammatory changes with mild hyperemia. On the cine images, as I scroll, you can see this is the region of the terminal ileum, which is telescoping into the colon. You can clearly identify as I scroll through. So this is giving the targetoid or donut appearance. You can see the terminal ileum. You can see the internal echogenic mesenteric fat. You can also identify the appendix. You can identify the terminal ileum. And you can also see some lymph nodes with the mesenteric fat. Depending on the plane in which acquire the images, it can appear like a targetoid or donut, or it can also appear like a sandwich sign due to the alternating layer of thickened bowel loops and the internal echogenic fat. As I scroll further, you can again identify in the longitudinal plane, the terminal ileum going into the large bowel. So this measured greater than three centimeter in length. Imaging appearances are consistent with iliocolonic intersusception. So we took this child for pneumatic reduction. So on the initial image, which is typically done to exclude pneumoperitoneum, which is a contraindication for pneumatic reduction. There was no free gas identified. Another contraindication for pneumatic reduction would be if child has peritonitic abdomen. It is also important to have surgeon on the standby in case we have perforation during the procedure and the child should be continuously monitored during the procedure for any hemodynamic compromise. So we, we put the catheter in the rectum and we started insufflating air. So you can see air within the rectum, sigmoid, in the splenic flexure, transverse colon, and we can see the soft tissue density lesion with almost appearance of the meniscus corresponding to the intersusception in the region of hepatic flexure. On further installation of air, the intersusception was pushed to the right lower quadrant. On this image, you can see there is air entering into the small bowel loops. You can see slightly thickened region of ileocecal valve. So this is a successful pneumatic reduction of intersusception. This is a very nice review article on intersusception. I would recommend people interested in this topic to read this article. Few salient points I've taken from this article. Ultrasound has very high sensitivity. It has almost 98% sensitivity and specificity in terms of diagnosing intersusception. Classically, the iliocolonic intersusception diameter is much larger. The mean diameter which they quoted in this paper was 2.6 cm whereas the small bowel to small bowel uh, intersusception diameter is smaller and the mean diameter they quoted in the paper was 1.4 cm. Depending on the plane of acquisition the intersusception can appear like a target or a donut. It can also appear like a pseudo kidney on the longitudinal plane and sandwich appearance as we saw in our, in our patient. Ultrasound can also help to predict a difficult procedure or potential complications which can be encountered during the intersusception. Presence of trapped fluid, lack of internal vascularity within the intersusception, irregular bowel wall or decreased bowel wall vascularity can also potentially predict complications. It is important to remember that presence of these features does not mean it is a contraindication for intersusception. When encountered in, with a patient having intersusception, it is important to differentiate iliocolonic intersusception from small bowel to small bowel intersusception. 
Iliacolonic intersusception classically will have a fatty core, which is not seen in small bowel intersusception. The diameter of iliacolonic intersusception is much larger as we saw in our patient. It's typically more than 2 cm, whereas the diameter in small bowel intersusception is usually less than 2 cm. Also, the iliacolonic intersusception are much longer, usually greater than 3 cm, whereas small bowel to small bowel intersusception is much shorter in length. In fact, if we think there is a small bowel, small bowel intersusception, but the length is greater than 3 cm, there may be a secondary cause such as a polyp or Meckel's diverticulum. Also, as we saw in our patient, there can be lymph nodes and appendix within the intersusception in iliacolonic type which will not be seen in small bowel intersusception. With iliacolonic intersusception, the ileocecal valve and the appendix is not seen in the right lower quadrant, which will be in normal location in patients with small bowel, small bowel intersusception. And usually small bowel, small bowel intersusceptions are transient in children and it may in fact disappear by end of the ultrasound examination as we saw in our patient, the intersusception is typically reduced using pneumatic technique. Some places can also try to do the intersusception reduction with fluid under ultrasound guidance. At our institution, we, have, we use a modified pneumatic technique. Anyone who is interested to learn about the modified technique can refer to this article. I hope you found this video to be informative. Thanks for your attention.